Hello and welcome to this After Effects Basics tutorial and in this tutorial we're simply going to look at the issue of getting our assets into After Effects. Now what do I mean by assets? Assets are anything that we can use in our project so they could be photographs, they could be video files, they could be vector images, they could be sound files, they could be bitmaps, they could be a whole range of different things that we want to use in our projects and we need to bring them into After Effects so that we can then work with them. Okay, so how do we do that? There are a number of different ways. Firstly, we can go to File and look for Import. And you'll notice that you've got some options there. You've got multiple files and single files. There is a keyboard shortcut. If you're a keyboard shortcut user, it's Control i That's one option. The simpler way, particularly if you're a mouse user and not a keyboard user, is to go to the Project Panel and to double-click in this grey area here then that opens the import file dialog box and you can select the item that you want to import by clicking on it and then clicking open and that item is actually brought into your project panel and in theory you have a thumbnail up here but of course it doesn't always work another way of doing it would be simply to navigate with your explorer or if you're on a Mac with the finder and when you navigate and you go to the appropriate place and find the actual document that you want you can simply click, drag and drop it. So if I go to my desktop, I know I've got a music file here, so I can click, drag and drop the actual item into my project panel and it's imported and there it goes. So that's another way of doing it by using either the Finder on the Mac or the Explorer in the PC. And of course you can select multiple files. So how do we do that? How do we bring in multiple files? So let me double click and do this again. So I'm going to double click in the grey area go back to the area that I'm going to import things from. Now if I want to import a whole range I can click at the top one and hold the shift key and click on the bottom one and the whole range is selected and I can click open. However if I just want to select individual items in my list I can hold the control key and then I can actually select individual items without selecting a whole range. So the shift key will do a range from the top one you select to the bottom one or alternatively from the bottom one to the top one, it just does a range. Whereas the control key on a PC and the command key on a Mac allows you to select individual items. But there is one problem with this particular method. I can't see these items. I don't actually know what they look like. And there is one further way of importing assets into After Effects which allows us to see and even hear the assets first and make sure they're what we're looking for. So I'm going to click Cancel, and I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go down to Browse in Bridge, and you'll notice that there is a keyboard shortcut, Control alt shift o or as I've heard some people call it, Mash Your Fist. In other words, all of the modifier keys, the Control alt and shift Command, Option, Shift on a Mac, plus O. Browse in Bridge. Click on that, and that opens another program, and this program is called Adobe Bridge and there's Adobe Bridge. Now when you go to Adobe Bridge you can navigate to where you know those particular files are. So for instance I've got some files here Sea Houses and there are some files, some video files for Sea Houses and what I can do is I can click, single click on each one of these files and over here it will play me a preview. Click and play the preview and then you can even hear it. I've got the sound turned off on my system at the moment but it will actually play it through. So I can see what the items are before importing them. Click and play and then if I'm happy with a particular item and I want to use it I simply double click it and it opens it back in the application that you opened Adobe Bridge from. Now this is important. If I've got a number of applications open, say I opened Adobe Bridge in Photoshop I did browse in Bridge from Photoshop and I double click an item, it will take it back into Photoshop, it won't take it back into After Effects. So it's important that you open Bridge from the application you want to import from. I'm just going to open up Bridge one more time and I'm going to pull it in a bit and I'm going to select a few items. So I'm going to select that one, hold the control key down and select that one and select that one. So I've just selected three and then I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to drop those into my project panel. As you can see it's given me them as three items, let go and those three items are going to be dropped into my project panel for After Effects. So if I had opened it from another application it doesn't matter, I can still open Adobe Bridge and I can click and drag and drop them into my project panel in exactly the same way as I might do with Finder or with Explorer. 
So that's how you can get items into your project panel ready to work with them. However, we can't do anything with them until we do the next step, which is learning to create compositions. My name's Andrew Davis. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.